Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. Today's video is going to be a homeware haul. I went shopping recently and went to some of my favourite high street homeware stores, B&M, Home Bargains, The Range, of course HomeSense. Um, and I also ordered a few things from some smaller um, homeware businesses online. So I thought I'd just put it all in one big video and show you what I've got recently. So please get cosy, relax and enjoy a bit of me time with me. <laughs> and if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing and joining us on my channel for lots more videos just like this. So I think I might get this out of the way first so I can put it back where it goes. So um, it's not the flowers, but I got this incredible vase from the range, which I was so shocked to find in there. So it's this absolute beauty. I've been looking for a really large vase like this for ages. Um, a really nice kind of rustic aged one and they're all upwards of I would say about £70 plus online um, and I just couldn't believe it when I found this in the range <laughs> hello um, when I found this in the range for £25 it's amazing I'm going to try and hold it a little bit closer so you can kind of see what it looks like it's super heavy on its own but with the flowers in it's like real heavy um, oh gosh I'm moving you now one second so hopefully you can kind of see it's like really nice and rustic they haven't just done um a plain sort of white vase which i just think looks amazing so i think i've got this backwards but i've been playing around with a little spring bouquet i like to have like one really large um arrangement in our open plan living area Last year I did put it on the island and changed it each season. I'm actually going to put it over there on the sideboard now because as lovely as it is, it does sometimes get in the way of like busy family life when you've got three young kids. So I think I'll put it on here sometimes, but when it's over there, it's just out of the way and doesn't have to keep being moved all the time. So all of the stems in here are just from random places, some wholesalers that I've been to, like wholesale floristry places. Um... I'm trying to think if any of them are from anywhere, from anywhere else. There might be some from HomeSense, but they're just ones that I've collected over the years and I kind of add to them and get, get them out whichever season it is and kind of change it up. But I do think the spring arrangements are my absolute favourites. I love all of the spring blossoms. I've got bloss uh, cherry blossoms, apple blossoms, pussy willow, and that might be it in here. And then just some like leafy foliage um so i'm just gonna go and pop this back now that i've showed you to get it out of the way but i'm so so pleased with that for just 25 pounds i think that's such a bargain and i really do think these will sell quickly now whilst i'm on flowers i thought i would quickly show you this it's just arrived so i'm gonna unbox it with you but i really wanted to add um some magnolia to it magnolias are one of my favorite flowers and I don't know if you guys, any of you that have been around long enough will know we had a huge magnolia tree in our back garden in our last house and it was just my favourite thing ever so I really miss that. So this is just a little nod to that. To that. I bought just one to see what it was like. Um, faux magnolia stem. The company's called... The company's called um, Ellie's Finishing Touches so I'll link them below. But yeah, I picked this up. So let's have a little look. Obviously it would need um, some arranging, of course, but this is one of their stems. I mean, it's only one, but you get a lot on there. I was gonna say I would probably need a couple more, but I might not, you know, if I can kind of, maybe I could cut them because it's on a super long branch or stem. So maybe I could do like one, two, three separately so that I can arrange them around the vase. I don't know, but, this is what I picked up anyway. It's really, really beautiful. I feel like it's probably one of the most realistic and natural ones that I've seen online. Um, so I'm really glad I picked this up. Um, that is so pretty. So yeah, I'll link anything that I can find online in the description box below for you. Right, shall we get on to home bargains? Because I definitely don't go there as much as I do Home Sense and B&M. So I picked up these lovely glass um, egg and bunny jars so let me just get them out because i'm sure you've seen them before they're not new 
Um, I've got a really lovely glass pumpkin that I got a few years ago, but I don't have um, anything like this for Easter, and I thought it could be cute to put uh, little chocolate eggs in. They are so, so gorgeous. I saw one on the side in Home Bargains like this, and I was going to pick it up, and then I realised it is a, it's actually a set. So you get that one. Oh, I thought when it said egg, there was like one just egg and one bunny with the ears, but obviously it's an egg-shaped jar with the bunny ears on both. So they're both exactly the same, just got one large and smaller, which I think is absolutely lovely. Glass jars, two pack, six ninety nine. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Then I picked up these. These are their little speckled... These are actually unscented um, candles, but the reason I got them is because you often don't see neutral Easter eggs. I really, really struggle to find um, like neutral Easter stuff. I love all the pastels, don't get me wrong, and I do feel that gives you the real spring, a bit of colour back into your life. It's beautiful, and we do have lots of pastel Eastery spring bits. But if you have quite a neutral home like me, you might not want to completely change everything up for spring and Easter. So I really personally like to have a few neutral touches of Easter and then it just doesn't feel too overwhelming. Like Christmas, you really go all out decorating, but Easter obviously we don't, well, I don't as much. Um, so what I'd really love to do is find some neutral eggs that I could decorate a wreath with. That's what I want to do, but I mean... These are actually candles. I won't burn them, but I'll probably just put them in a little bowl. And they're really, really pretty. So you get six, four, um, $1.99. Now, Home Bargains have some really gorgeous pajamas at the moment. I was shocked. I'm going to show you some in a minute. Um, but they had these gorgeous little Easter ones. They had pink bunnies and carrots and blue, obviously, and these are only five pounds. They actually feel really soft. So I got him three to four because he's quite um, tall for his age anyway, he's two. But I thought oh, it's just gonna be another one of those things where he only wears it a couple of times and then obviously Easter's over. Not that it really matters. He'll probably wear these year round, to be honest. They've just got bunnies on them. But I thought if I get them bigger, one, they are likely to shrink for five pounds, I would say. And two, hopefully he'll get like next year's wear out from as well. So I just think they're lovely. They've got some gorgeous pajamas, some strawberry ones that I liked, some um, Valentine's ones, I think, or maybe I'm thinking of somewhere else. So many shops have got so many nice Valentine's Day bits in at the minute, so I'm getting confused. But I picked up a pair of pajamas for myself. I just couldn't believe these were in home bargains. I'm still like really confused. So it's a really gorgeous, velvety, soft, candy striped um, pajama set. So you get the short sleeve top and then you get the little shorts underneath. 12 pounds. I just thought, right, hang on, I'm gonna show you up close. It feels really luxe. Like I'm so impressed with it. It's lovely. So I picked that up in there. That was probably my little bargain of the day, I would say. And just to end the home bargain section on a higher toothpaste. But then I went into Home Sense. I didn't get loads in there. Sometimes I go crazy and just want to get everything. There wasn't loads that I saw, um, but I did pick up a couple of things. So I got these two candlesticks. As you can see, they're slightly different, but I have been looking for black candlesticks for a little while. Of different heights so I thought it doesn't really matter that they're different um, they kind of just work they're like metal ones this one was $5.99 and I think this one was $9.99 so I've styled them on my shelves which I'm gonna do a video about soon so I picked up those which I really liked and then I grabbed this Kate Somerville it's the eradicate so it's for blemishes and imperfections it's really odd I've never used it before but it's got really good reviews online and I got it for $5.99 on oh, look fantastic I'm sure it was like 20 pounds or something when I checked but it's like this pink liquid it looks like Pepto-Bismol in America <laughs> um, but you just like put it on a cotton pad and dab it on to the spots I think it's probably incredibly drying so I will be careful with how much I use it because you know it's 2024 we're a bit more advanced in knowing like you shouldn't just be completely drying out your spots to make them go away but sometimes you just need that I think so let me know if you ever tried eradicate from Kate Somerville do you like it do you get on with it do you not um it's my first time getting it so I thought I'd pick it up but 
I think Home Sense and TK Maxx are a great little one. Like, don't um, miss out on the skincare section because sometimes they have some really great bits. Okay, so let's jump into Home Bargains. I've got some bits on the floor that I've already got out. Um, so first of all, I am about to um, do a little mini makeover or actually quite a big makeover on Elliot's bedroom. Um, my dad's going to be doing some... Uh, bits and bobs in there so I'm really excited about that but obviously I'm excited about the styling part um, so I picked up these two cushions I don't want it all to be too matchy matchy but these were two for £12 or £8 each and they're not really big I love this check and it's going to be a bit of a theme in the room in a, in a way and I just thought they looked really nice so if they open which yes they do I'm going to restuff these with um feather inserts because I just find that these um whatever this is this poly stuff inside just goes so flat and horrible so quick but I really loved the cases so for six pounds each I thought I would grab those and then I actually found this one as well I kind of wish I picked up two but like I said I don't want it to be too matchy matchy but I thought this looked again a lot more expensive than it was it was it says £10 on this side of the tag and it says £7 on this side so we went for the £7 um, yeah I just loved the look of this I'm sure they do this in a few more colours but I thought it would just make a nice little accent cushion on one of the beds you know I liked those so I grabbed those and also to go in the room this didn't have did it have a no I kind of just found this as a one off on its own which would I'm not sure how much it was. I think it was £10. But it's this little checked um, throw. It's got the creams, the blues, the greens in it. The colours that I kind of want the room to be. So I thought I'd grab that. Um, and it would just be nice for them to have a blanket in there. Whether it's in like a little basket. Or on the end of one of the beds. It's just nice. They love being cosy of course. So I thought I would grab that whilst I saw it. I grabbed this candle. I just it was really really beautiful I love the glass um, it's by Karina Bailey this is the Palo Santo which is the, the stuff that you like wave around isn't it and no that's sage it, you, you do burn it though don't you it's like a wood am I right um, I've had it before I'm sure and smoked sandalwood this smells so pretty oh my god it's a really really gorgeous scent it's not really strong. I wish it was stronger, but maybe when you burn it, it is. But it's so pretty. I'd love a perfume in this. Um, and it was only £4. So, yeah, I loved that. I think they might do this in a few more colours. Maybe a green. But I just thought that was so pretty. I'm pretty sure these frames were in the clearance section. Maybe they weren't. But, anyway, they were two frames for £4. I absolutely love the um, light wash wood. So I don't know how easy it is to see. It's not a box frame, but it does have quite a deep frame on it. Um, so my plan for this, for Christmas, I got the boys quite a few little Lego minifigures. Um, and they love putting them together. And they're like some of, they're like minifigures from some of their favorite shows and movies and games and stuff. So what I wanna do is a little DIY makeover on these. I'm gonna take this out paint the back piece and then hopefully if it goes to plan I'm going to get some little Lego blocks glue them on and then their minifigures can sit on there so it makes it like a Lego piece of art uh, but they can also easily just remove the figures they won't be able to remove the blocks but they've got tons of those so I thought they could give some up for the pictures but they can take the figures off the blocks play with them whatever they want to do mix and match them and then put them back on so I thought that would make some nice room art for them. So we've got two sets. So there's actually four frames and they came out to two pounds a frame. So I thought that was really good. And then from another online business called Homes, Gifts and Interiors. Again, I'll link them below. I got this, which is huge. It is a massive paper mache bowl. Um, I'm not going to lie. I toyed with trying to make something like this myself because I do like to get crafty. But I just decided I'd go ahead and buy one <laughs> um it is a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be i did measure it but i guess because it's round i maybe got my measurements slightly wrong but it does fit on the shelf it just sticks out a little bit so it's a really gorgeous again like rustic bowl it's quite light because obviously it's made of paper mache but it doesn't feel like it will just fall apart it feels like um like clay you know 
that kind of thing. But what I'm going to do eventually, it might take me a while to get around to it, but I do think I'm going to paint this a slightly lighter colour because in the room, it might not be showing up too much on camera, but it looks quite yellowy just for my personal taste. So I might paint it at some point, but yeah, I just think it's really nice. It looks really natural, earthy, rustic. So, I mean, it's like humongous, but I love it. So that's everything I picked up. I really hope you enjoyed today's haul. Um, I know it was from like lots of little bits from lots of different shops, but hopefully you enjoyed it, seeing what's in the shops at the minute. And there'll be lots more like spring and Eastery hauls and nice new homo bits coming up soon. And please do stick around, like this video and subscribe. Like I said, we're going to be doing the boys room makeover soon and other bits and bobs like that coming up. So I'd love for you to stick around. Thank you so much for watching everyone. And I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye guys. Mwah.